Hello mga kawanderham! Ang video natin ngayon ay tungkol sa product rule of radicals. So ang sabi sa product rule of radicals, if a and b are non-negative real numbers, then the nth root of a times the nth root of b is equal to the nth root of ab. Or pwede rin the nth root of ab is equal to nth root of a times nth root of b. So, ibig sabihin pala, pag may dalawa kang radical na pinag-multiply mo, pwede mo silang pagsamahin sa loob ng isang radical symbol. So, halimbawa, uh, cube root of 2 times cube root of 3. So, pwede mo siyang pagsamahin sa loob cube root of 2 times 3. Na magkasama sa loob ng isang radical lang. O kaya, ganun din. Pag magkasama, pwede mo paghiwalayin. Halimbawa, square root of 9x squared. So, yung 9 tsaka yung x squared, dalawang uh, magkabukod na factor yan. Pwede mo silang paghiwalayin. Square root of 9 times square root of x squared. So, yan ang product rule of radicals. So, ginagamit natin yan sa pagsimplify ng uh, radical expressions. So, halimbawa, meron tayong uh, ganito. 6 is equal to the square root of 36. So, square root of 36 equals 6, ba Pero halimbawa, hindi mo alam agad na ang square root ng 36 ay 6. Pero alam mo na ang factor ng 36 ay uh, 4 times 9. So, pwede mo siyang gawing ganito. 4 times 9. So, gagamitin mo yung product rule of uh, radicals, pwede mo silang paghiwalayin. Square root of 4 times square root of 9. So, since parehong perfect square yung 4 tsaka yung 9, so, pwede mo na silang simplify. Square root of 4 is equal to 2 times square root of 9 is equal to 3. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So, ganun yun. Sa pagsisimplify ng radical expression, hahanap ka ng uh, perfect square na factor or kaya perfect nth power ng factor mo. Limbawa naman, uh, 6 uli, pero cube root, 216. So, limbawa, hindi mo alam agad na 6 pala ang cube root ng 216, pero naisip mo, meron siyang perfect cube na factors. Ang perfect cube na factors niya ay 8 times 27 na solve mo na ito pala factor niya parehas na perfect cube so pwede mo siyang isimplify na gamit ang product rule of radicals so cube root of 8 times cube root of 27 so pinagiwalay mo kasi parehas silang perfect cube so ang cube root of 8 is equal to 2 times cube root of 27 is equal to 3 so, ganun din. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So, ganyan ginagamit ang product rule of radicals. Um, uh, maganda siyang gamitin sa pagsisimplify ng radical expressions. So, example. Basi sa module ng ating kawanderham. Simplify square root of 8. So, paano natin siya isisimplify gamit ang product rule of radicals? So, uh, iisip tayo ng factor ng 8 na perfect square. So, um, factor niya ay 4 times 2. 4 times 2. Kasi ang 4 ay perfect square. So, gamitin natin yung product rule. Paghihiwalay natin yung factor. Square root of 4 times square root of 2. So, ang square root of 4 is equal to 2 times square root of 2. So, tatabi lang natin siya. Dyan. Yan ang ating final answer. Ang square root of 8 is equal to 2 square root of 2. Next sa module ng ating kawanderham, simplify uh, square root of x to the 7. So, paano naman yan? So, square root din, hanap tayo ng perfect square na factor ng x to the 7. So, para mo malaman na perfect square, kailangan divisible by 2 yung exponent. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root of x to the 7 ay pwede mo ring gawing ganito. 
x to the 6 times x. So, x to the 6 times x is equal to x to the 7. Parehas lang yan. Ito yung factor niya kasi x to the 1 to. Pag pinag-plus mo yung exponent, 6 plus 1, 7 din. So, kaya mo pinaktor ng ganyan kasi ang x to the 6 ay perfect square. So, gamitin mo ang product rule pag ihiwalayin mo. Square root of x to the 6 times square root of x. So, ang x to the 6, so, ang index nito kasi 2. I-divide mo lang yung 6 sa 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Magiging x cubed times square root of 8. So, ayan ang ating sagot pag sinimplify natin ang square root of x to the 7. Uh, last example sa module. Simplify. Simplify. Square root of 45. X squared. Y cubed. So, paano natin ito isi-simplify? So, gamitin din uli natin ang product rule pag ihiwalayin natin yung mga factor. So, um, gawin natin, ah, hanapin pala muna natin factor ng 45 na perfect square. So, ang 45 ay pwedeng 9 times 5. Kasi ang 9 ay perfect square. X squared, perfect square yan, yung X squared. So, times x squared. Ang y cube hindi siya perfect square, pero y squared ay per perfect square. So, if a factor natin, y squared times y. Kasi y to the first yan. So, y squared times y is equal to y cube. Finactor lang natin. So, paghihiwa-hiwalay na natin. Um, so, square root of 9 times square root of 5 times square root of x squared times square root of y squared times square root of y. So, pinag-iwahiwalay lang natin lahat ng mga factor. Ngayon, ano yung mga perfect square? Ito. Square root of 9 is equal to uh, 3. Ito rin, perfect square din to. Square root of x squared is equal to x. Ito rin, square root of y squared is equal to y. Tapos, isulat na natin yung mga natira na hindi perfect square. Square root of 5, tsaka square root of y. So, pwede na natin sila ulit pagsamahin. So, yan ang final answer. 3xy, the square root of 5y.